Hello, my name is Deborah Warren. I'm here in Vernon, British Columbia, and you're currently looking at a view of Okanagan Lake. I'm here today to talk about uh, contacting extraterrestrials, and I'd like to recommend this book by Stephen Greer, Hidden Truth, Forbidden Knowledge. I would like to speak about contacting extraterrestrials and the problem of subjectivity. Um, if you join a group and you're engaged in extraterrestrial contact, you see a lot of things objectively that everybody in the group sees. Most commonly lights in the sky. So you will see a chevron shape come shooting out of Mount Shasta, about this size, twist and turn and go into the upper atmosphere. You might see a ship go across the sky about the size of the nib of your finger and it just paints um, a, a, a spray of gold and yellow across the sky. Uh, you also might see something the size of a quarter held at arm's length. So you might see an orb off in the distance about 50 kilometers or so and it's about the size of a quarter and everybody in the group sees that. Another thing that's happening is we have, this is a typical uh, car radar detector. I'm going to turn it on right now. So the latest thing, the latest thing that's been happening is that we, uh, a bunch of us will have these, four or five of us will have one of these, and we'll be up on the side of a mountain where there is no source of laser or infrared detection. And what's happening is that each one of these are going off in different patterns. And so that's highly anomalous. And that's something we all observe. So this is the objective phenomena. But the problem is that if you're in a contact group, then what goes on is that you're actually out there doing a nighttime sky watch for four to five hours. And the problem is that you spend most of that time listening to other people talk about their subjective perceptions. So they might be seeing orbs, they might be having light touches on their forehead, uh, they might, uh, mostly it's light phenomena, mostly it's orbs that they're seeing, but there may be a perception of beings walking around us and ships landing in the field near us. And the problem is that you go through several stages, or at least I went through several stages. Initially, you spend like four hours listening to people, talking about all their perceptions. And what's happening is you tolerate it initially. And then you, um, the next stage is that you learn to appreciate that, yes, people do perceive things differently. And then the final perception or the final stage is that you learn to deeply appreciate that other people are having these experiences.